Welcome to Songwriting with Alec. My name's Alec. I'm a songwriter and producer based in Austin, Texas. One of the easiest things to get hung up on in creating is where does the inspiration come from? Is it visiting you today? Is it not there at all? Where's the balance? Am I supposed to work when there's no inspiration coming to me? There's no right answers or one way to do this, but for me, I just got to show up and do the work, even if I'm not feeling the inspiration. And then you have to ask yourself, what is inspiration? It's really just being in touch with the moment. So today I was feeling the resistance. I wasn't finding any inspiration, but we're going to rely on the craft today. It might not turn out great, but at least we showed up to work. And if we're really lucky, we'll find the moment, we'll find the inspiration, and we'll create something that wasn't there before. So let's go ahead and get started. It's a little bit of a dreary, kind of rainy day over here in Austin. So let's hang out on a minor key today. I don't know if this whirlies it. Let's see if we can find a piano that we like. Honestly, just these two chords alone is enough to be its own section. It has a lot of mood to it. Let's keep shopping for more chords. gonna be a moody one playing in those minor keys ideas are coming fast that's good all right let's lay a couple of these ideas in cool that's one And then let's lay in this last idea. Maybe that's it. I guess I had the timing off. All right, so we got a rough outline for the song. Subject to change, but we'll see how it goes. Let's start thinking about verse one. You don't have to let it die. Not your fault. For what's happened. Yeah, let's start. All right, let's keep cruising. Fresh starts and clean breaks. Starting new without you. Watch it fall from safe view. That's got to hit on that second note. No one's left in the aftermath. I feel like we're missing a chord there. And then does it need any more driving for the chorus? I think the answer is yes. We call that the Jack Black improvisation. Great way to find your melody. End of the empire. Final scenes rose. Still don't know which way to go. What's this last line, man? We're close. But there's plenty way to go. Oh, don't you know? I'm going down Whether you like it or not We're well, just kind of punching those in. This feels like a Nick Cave song now. All right, so the one thing that sticks out to me is we might need like a pass-through note to get from the verse, this E, and we're trying to get to C minor. Maybe all you need is just those two notes. All right, calling it a day. Song's written here. Next time, we're going to be adding some accompanying instruments. Sounds good. One of the hardest things about creating regularly is not getting stuck in your ways. We're really required to just do this tightrope walk. On one hand, we want to explore and try new things, and that's what's expected of us. But on the other hand, 
you got to have some kind of workflow. You got to have a little bit of a playbook to get you going. Otherwise, you're going to be meandering the whole time. So it's tricky to find this balance of trying new things and trusting the tried and true. It's good to get out of the limb. You should feel uncomfortable when you're making art. You're probably close to greatness if that's the case. For me, I write a lot of songs in major keys. So writing in minor keys doesn't feel so natural. I'm embracing this uncomfortable feeling and hoping we can find something cool at the end of this. Let's start thinking about some drums. All right, let's just see if we can find ourselves a little bit of a groove here. Laying some hi-hat. Let's add this little accent on the kick on every other. Usually don't like crashes that much, but it kind of helps with the accent. Final scenes rolls. Cool. That might be the drums for this song. Plug in the bass and start grooving a little bit. Keep it simple, right? It might be just the difference of taking one note off. I'm just going to add the foam block for a little more mute. No one's left in the air. All right, that's it. All right, let's do some some light mixing. Kind of going out of order, but it's just the way it's speaking to me today. Let's start with these drums. Add a little bit more room. Cool, now let's add an EQ here. Let's start with cutting up a low end rumble. And then let's boost this this low end. And then let's look for some like low mid mud. This is like the thud of the kick and the boxiness of the snare. Yeah, it just makes it a little more concise. Let's add a little more crack to the snare, so let's think like 5k. And then let's add a high shelf, just get a little more air in there. And then let's put a bus compressor on. Slower attack, fast release, kind of a pumping sound. So let's do low cut. Let's cut all this low stuff below the fundamental. Right there. We got a good amount of low end, so we're just now looking for low mids here. And then let's do a broad boost, kind of where the pick high end is. We might try some strings, but let's get the piano dialed in a little bit better first. Let's just piece this together. I'm not the best piano player, but I think we can get there. I don't want to like kill this and make it perfect, but we're just trying to tighten it up a little bit. Just do a little quantize here, and we'll be good to go. Yeah, let's lay in a solo here. We'll see what happens. You just need to do the chords on top of it, and I'll be good. Cool, let's do a little bit of EQ to this and get it sounding good. Let's cut out some of this low end that we don't need. There's a lot of it here. Let's do an instrument, let's do complete control, let's call this strings. We might reach for some strings. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm kind of hearing it in my head. We can steal the piano MIDI and then we'll probably move it up an octave. I hear another part too, let's give it a try. We got the tuba going. I thought that was it, but I don't think that's it. Giving up on the horns, let's do the strings for the chorus. Almost done. I have one other thing on. So we get pretty low here, so we don't want to cut too much. Going down to the bottom, whether you like it or not. Let's go ahead and put the soothe on here, and that'll get rid of any like the resonant frequencies that are going on here. Cool, let's get some compressors. We're gonna do two in series. So we're gonna do 1176 to kind of grab the fast stuff. And then LA-2A, just to level. And then let's add a little bit of saturation. I'm gonna do decapitator here. All right, let's listen to this from the top. Not 
your fault for what happens. Fresh starts and clean breaks. Starting new without you. Watched it fall from safe you. No one's left in the aftermath. End of the empire. Final scenes roll. Still don't know which way to go, but there's plenty. You know, at the start of the session, we were talking about how it's good to get out of your comfort zone and you might find something interesting. I think this is the first song I've written I put strings on. There's no guitar on here. That's usually my crutch, my safety. This is out of the comfort zone, but I'm happy with how it turned out. Don't be afraid to take risk. Sometimes you'll fall on your face and eat shit, but that's just what creating art is. Thanks for watching, guys.